two years, four months, 16 days. That is how long ago we backed a Kickstarter project by a company called Vue for a pair of smart glasses with bone conduction speakers built into them. But despite their countless delays, the logistical issues, the manufacturing issues, and what is now my low expectations for this product, Vue will always kind of hold a close spot in my heart. It's because of Vue that I started making videos on crowdfunded projects, which then led us to making videos on tech products, which has led us to where we are today. So although this may be trash, it's special trash to me. So if you've been with us since the early view days, since I was making monthly updates on this project, let me know in the comments down below. A special shout out to the OGs. Let me know who you are. But Mark, you haven't opened them yet. Why are you just assuming that they're trash? Well, I've read a lot of other backers feedback who have received them already, because despite, as I said, uh, at one point covering this project monthly and reaching out to view on multiple occasions, they show zero interest in wanting to work with influencers and I am literally one of the very last people to receive their product. So yeah, I've had a chance to read some other people's feedbacks. Here are some of the main things we found so far. Uh, low audio volume makes them very hard to be heard outside. When you turn the volume up to the max, of course, these are bone conduction speakers. We've seen it time and time again. They leak. People are saying short battery life. Uh, a couple of people said they wouldn't last them out the day. Okay, that's fine. I'm not sure what kind of activity they're doing. Someone said they didn't last two hours of playtime, so we'll find out about that. Uncomfortable fit. Tight pressure on the head causes headaches. I kind of get uh, from a fitting perspective why they would make them uh, more tight than a regular pair of glasses so that they push on the temple and the bone conduction works, but I mean, if they're giving people headaches, that's a bad design. Uh, disconnecting from the app, problems getting them to charge in the charging case. And then overall, a lot of people just said they feel cheap, made of low quality material, and some people's broke. But that's just what other people have said. Uh, we're finally gonna get to formulate our own opinion on these after two and a half years. So what this video is gonna be is unboxing them, seeing what comes with them, pairing them with the app on my phone, and then we'll give them a preliminary test, but it's not gonna be a full review. Uh, what I'd like to do is try and use them kind of day to day for a little while before coming back with my final thoughts on whether it was worth almost three years. So this is the box it comes in. I'm already familiar with this because believe it or not, the uh, detailed monthly updates I was doing at one point even included updates on the packaging. This was a real interesting channel at one point. Okay. Uh, it says glasses, charging case, lens cloth, and USB Type-C cable. Uh, also on the back it states battery lasts up to three days, so that's a very concerning report from that one backer. Bone conduction audio, activity tracking, gesture control, uh, charging, seven day standby in the charging case, and water resistant to sweat and splash resistance. Two and a half years for this moment. It does feel cheap, it does. Like, very plasticky. Okay, so also in the box, cleaning cloth like they said, USB-C charging cable, and I think these are nose pads because uh, the middle part is just plastic. Some people said plastic glasses slip off their nose. I think these are nose pads. Okay, so getting into them, yeah, the glasses case, as I mentioned, feels very plasticky. Let's take them out for the first time. See, this is, I think finally the first time I'll actually get to see how big they are because that was always a concern from pictures. You could never quite tell. Let's just take this piece of plastic off that covers the contacts, which allow it to charge in the case, which is now stuck to me. So I mean, the front of the glasses themselves actually aren't that much bigger than the ones I'm wearing right now, where it will become obvious that they are something different. Uh, it's just, yeah, on the legs of the glasses. But I guess for the first time, let's try them on. So two and a half years ago, these are an old prescription. <laughs> I think I even updated it with them once, but it was a long time ago. It's just one of the things that slipped my mind. These are not my current prescriptions. Uh, but in terms of the fit, even with a hat on, which is kind of pushing on them a bit, a lot of people said they were way too tight for their head, that whenever they showed them, it must have been somebody with a small head wearing them, stuff like that. But uh, they don't feel that different from the glasses I just took off that, to be honest. 
Because of the prescription, I can't actually see what I look like in the camera, it's too far away. <laughs> so uh, let's just assume I don't look more of an idiot than usual. But I've downloaded the View app on my phone, uh, so we're just gonna jump into that, see how easy it is to pair, and try them out for the first time. Okay, so first apparently you make your profile, so I've put in my name, uh, age, let's just add a sexy picture of myself. Looks good. It says make sure it's charged, uh, put it in the charging case and plug it in. I'm just gonna assume that they've come with a little bit of battery in them. Yes, you can have access to my location, it's always creepy, but... Press and hold your finger against the control pad for eight seconds, then double tap when you hear a pairing prompt. These do not have any charge in them. You're gonna charge them up. No any jokes? Okay, I watched some YouTubes. I let this charge. We're gonna try again. Put them on, try again, connect. Heard a noise this time. The noise is good. It's doing nothing. It's, oh, I've only just seen, a lot of people said they couldn't see it. I was just like, what the, what's that flashing up there? There is a, a notification light on the inside, which I can see flashing blue, which I think means it's in pairing mode, but it's not pairing. I, I literally don't know where to go if this doesn't pair because that's the main point of them. How am I gonna, play music and notifications and all the things if it doesn't pair. Well, apparently this part of the unboxing and setting up is gonna be very quick because it won't set up. Um, finally managed to get the glasses connected to the phone just by finding it as an available Bluetooth device. So finding it in uh, Bluetooth settings in my phone, but connecting through the app it's just not finding it. It says to put it in pairing mode, which I've done. A little um, notification tells me it's in pairing mode. That's how I got it found on the phone, but the app just doesn't work. So this is an Android device. I've restarted my phone. I can't get it working. So uh, that's checking out the app out of the question. Hopefully if we come back and I do a more detailed review of these, uh, we can get into some detail of the app. But for now, uh, all we can pretty much do is try the music control and gesture control and anything else associated with the app is, is out of question. <laughs> So probably the most important feature, uh, the thing that most people bought these for, it was listening to music with the bone conduction technology. Uh, what I'm gonna do is play a song at three different volumes. We're gonna go 25%, 50%, and 100%. All of the audio will be picked up by the lav mic here, which, I mean, just for reference, is obviously closer than a normal person would be, unless you've got no sense of personal space. But yeah, let's start off at 25%. Okay, 25%. I can hear the song, I can tell you what song it is. It's not the loudest thing in the world, but if I was in a completely silent environment like I am now, you know, I could comfortably listen to the song. It doesn't sound great. It sounds kind of staticky. Actually, the bass and everything isn't too bad. 25% is not too bad. Obviously, uh, I'll have, have to wait until I play this back to see how much can be heard in this, uh, but I'd love for you to let me know in the comments down below how much you can hear at 25%, we're gonna to go to 50%. Fifty percent actually sounds pretty good. It's uh it's clearer than it was at a 25. Sounds less staticky. Uh, I imagine it's probably bleeding a lot more than it was at 25%, so it's probably being picked up by the lav mic now. It's probably the loudest I'd kind of feel comfortable listening to them in public on a train or something. Just for reference, this is 75%. And then uh, 100%, let's see if this distorts. Oh. It's not horrible, but as soon as there's a lot of bass, then 
yeah, it's uh, I love distortion and I imagine right now they are just speakers. Like I can feel them vibrating in my face at this point. So a hundred, a hundred percent volume is probably out of the question. So let's just put it back down to around 30%. This is a nice comfortable, I can still kind of hear it. Uh, one thing I wanted to test was the gesture controls. You should be able to change these within the app uh, to customize it for whatever you want it to do, like a long press to do a certain feature on your phone, but we can't get into the app. It did change song. Okay, so gesture controls are working. There is a, an audio response to tell you what gesture you've just done. So if it's pausing, playing, that's one tone. And if you've skipped, it's a different tone. So gesture controls aren't too bad. Obviously I've been wearing these for about 10 minutes now while we've been recording. So just to highlight on how comfortable they are, I have no specific issues. Uh, they don't feel like they're pushing on my head. They're not squeezing it. I can't see that they would cause me a headache over a long day. Uh, I already can't feel a difference compared these to uh, to my regular glasses. So I'm sorry to say that the people who commented on that may just have big heads. So one other thing we can test without being in the app and I'm going to try and figure that out for the next video, uh, but we're going to try and make a call quickly and just see how well I can hear the other person and how well they can hear me. Hello. And I'm only in the other room. Try to ignore that. Can you hear me? Like, yeah, like clearly, like I'm speaking into the phone. How's it sound? Pretty good. You can hear yourself echoing a little bit. Okay, you're at about 50% volume right now. Say something now. Did you hear yourself more? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can actually feel your voice vibrating on my face, which is a weird thing to say, but okay. So around 50% seems pretty good. I can actually hear you quite well. How is it compared to, so I call you with my Galaxy Buds in, for example, and you usually can't hear me. So how is it compared to them? So better? Nice. I appreciate your participation from the other room. So yeah, the call quality seems pretty good. Uh, I could hear Shay, she is just in the other room, but I could hear her clearly through the, uh, through the glasses. I don't think it would be the kind of volume where somebody else would be able to hear it. 50% was pretty good to be able to hear them. But as we've mentioned, this is a quiet environment. And if I was outside, if there's wind blowing in my ears, traffic, other people around, uh, I imagine that would become quite difficult. But unfortunately, that's all I've got for you for now until we can get the app working because uh, everything else is stuck in the app. So, but if you enjoyed this video, you found the unboxing helpful, a like rating would be appreciated. To make sure you see the full review once I actually get it all working, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I shall see you in the next one. Bye.